everybody, I am ETPS, and we are back with more Muffins Destroyers. Uh, we are on chapter three of what's called Casey Moon. This is Casey Moon. I'd like to point it out that we're on chap I mean, page ten. <laughs> so, yes, this is moving very quickly. Also, really quick, I'd like to say that my family is talking right now, so if you hear them in the background, I'm sorry. Uh, all right. In the popular kingdom of Atlas, Atlas, I don't know, another alicorn, Princess Casey Moon, was flying around, flying throughout the skies around her palace. Skies is misspelled. She felt the great breezes in the summer air, though she would normally be in her fancy, her fancy attire. Today was Saturday, which meant for her that she could be as casual and free as she wanted. Her hair was in two loose braids, her magical hair flowing at the ends. Right now, she was free. Oh god, you can see the colors bleeding through the page. Right now, she was free. She didn't have any duties to attend. No schooling to learn. Nothing. That is a weird way to word things. She flew around a bit more, then felt her stomach grumble. She sighed, annoyed, knowing that if she ate now, she wouldn't be able to fly for another thirty minutes. Still, she flew through. Uh, she flew through her window, landed in her room, and made her way into the kitchen. Oh, Casey, how are you? Haven't seen you all day. Oh well, I was out flying, and then I found. Oh my God! And then I read a few chapters of Instigators. God, this makes no sense. And then I flew some more. But then I got hungry, and so I guess it's lunchtime. Okay, no problem, sugar. I'll cook you something up in a flash. Great, thanks, butter. See, like, you learn the name of the person talking, but I, I apparently didn't think it was important enough to state their name <laughs> in the beginning. Casey sat down at her table and waited. Soon, Butterscotch brought her a plate of lunch. Casey started to eat, and Butterscotch sat, sat down next to her. Great as always, Butter, she said, with her mouth full. Butterscotch giggled. Good, after all, only the best for you, your majesty. Oh, Butter, you know you can call me Casey. You're my friend, after all. Butterscotch grinned widely. And there's Casey Moon and Butterscotch. Well, that's a good thing. I'm your personal chef. You wouldn't want me doing anything weird to your food. Yeah, that's totally not suspicious. Casey looked at her, confused. And JK! <laughs> I would never do that. When Casey finished the main course, she was about to eat an orange when Butterscotch said, Oh, don't... Oh, this orange has a bruise on it. Let me go get another one. Butter, I don't see any fit, but she was already galloping toward the kitchen. When she came back, she had a new orange. It looked fine, but Casey wondered if it was necessary. Nonetheless, she thanked Butterscotch, took a bite out of it, and took a bite out of it. I didn't include the word and. It tasted good, but it also tasted different. Like strawberry cake, or maybe doodleberry cake. Doodleberry cake, alright. She couldn't tell. Hmm. Suddenly, Casey just seemed to fall asleep in her chair and couldn't wake up. Dot dot dot. Casey's cutie mark, which I didn't feel the need to color. <laughs> Alright, there's chapter three. Again, I'm sorry for the short videos, but my phone does not like these longer videos, so. Very well.